I would compare King Masco's music to what we Sierra Leoneans call plasas, a palava sauce. This is a sauce which takes ingredients, diverse ingredients, they're different colors, different flavors, textures and smells, and they may not initially look like they go together. But when you mix them to the right consistency and cook them with love and care, you end up with a steaming hot pot of sauce that is excellent cover for everybody's rice in the community, in the family and beyond. And that goes on also to address King Masco's audience. King Masco's audience is basically everybody. I have yet to see people who have seen King Masco performing and not be enchanted and captivated by his music. King Masco is, um, because of his royalty, is able to command an audience. King Masco will dance an audience into the, into the ground and they will be grateful afterwards and still be asking for more. It's another number from King Masco and his band with African music. performs he sings of home things of home um, you know the kind of food we used to eat he uses popular rhymes and um, cultural sort of phrases and songs um, as choruses and as chants as part of his music so it in people who used to live in Sierra Leone for example they're reminded of things from their childhood and for some of our children who are growing up away from Sierra Leone, it's a way for us to pass on some of these rhymes and songs that we used to know, some of the games that we used to know, and just to give them a sense of who they are as Sierra Leoneans and what Sierra Leone is that might counter what you find in the media. <laughs> 